Greetings everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of bronze or silver and make it into gold league. So for all of you people that are already gold trying to get to plat, you can still use some of these tips, but they're mostly for the lower level bronze level silvery type people. Three steps basically that you're going to want to follow to get out of bronze or silver. Where you want to start is to choose your champions. Now obviously you probably have a lot of champions as do I do. Here is all of my owned champions, so it's quite quite a bit. Obviously, I can't play all of these perfectly. And so what you want to do is you want to pick your champions that you can play perfectly. So I mean, you you can skillfully out-trade everybody. You can um, carry with them. You can dodge stuff, hit all your abilities, and you just you play them really well, okay? You just want to pick your champions that you can play really well. And what I recommend you do is actually write these down on a piece of paper or in notes or something um, and stick with it. Just stick with those champions. Um, you can pick champions that are in the meta. You can pick champions that are out of the meta. Uh, to be completely honest with you, in bronze and silver, the meta, it matters, but not as much as it does in, in plat and diamond. So you can pick champions that aren't, you know, totally in the meta as long as you personally can play them really well. So like you will play blind picks and you'll carry with them and you'll win games basically single-handedly. Those are the kind of champions you want to pick. So you want to choose three to five champions and preferably not all in the same lane. So you don't want to pick, you know, five mid laners. You don't want to pick five eighty carries or five tops, five jungles. You want to pick, oh, say like two jungles, a mid laner, and a couple tops, or a couple 80 carries, or if even you pick one champion from every single um, uh, lane, then then you're good. I mean, you pick a support, a mid, a carry, a top, a mid, and I mean, there you go. So no matter what you get set with, you'll be able to play. Now, obviously, you don't want to probably pick champions that get banned a lot, um, but that changes from time to time, so just... Whatever champions that you're good with are what you should pick. I want to narrow this down to at most five and at least three. So, and why I want to do that is because you don't want your play pool to be so big. Because, I mean, if you're, you know, diamond challenger level, yeah, your play pool is going to be huge. You're going to be able to play a lot of champions. But you also spend, you know, nine, ten hours a day playing this game. Odds are you don't spend that much time playing this game. And if you do and you're still in bronze wide, you should just, you should do something else because... You're wasting your time. So for most people, you only play maybe a couple hours every day, if even that. So you want to really focus on a small play pool, something like three to five champions. So once you pick your three to five champions, what you want to do now is you want to play them not in ranked. Do not play ranked with any of these champions yet. What you need to do is play at least three games with each champion. What I really recommend doing is using... Team Builder. I know a lot of people hate Team Builder, but this way you'll get your role that you want and you'll get your champion that you want every single game. So in blinds, you know, someone might call mid and you really needed to practice your mid champ. Well, now you can't unless you just want to, you know, ruin the whole team. So in Team Builder, you can use it. No, this is not me advertising Team Builder. I still don't think it's that great, but whatever. Or you can try normal draft pick, which is more like ranked. So it's actually pretty good practice for, you know, the bands and picks and everything like that just to see who's banned, who's picked, um, and kind of get a taste for ranked um, overall. So that's only 9 to 15 games that you're going to play. So if you play you know, 9 games, 3 with each of your 3 main champions, then and you actually do well, successful. So you know, even if you lose, as long as you personally did alright, you, know, you didn't die a lot, you uh, help the team out, you know, you tried to carry. If you, you know, can play your champion, land their skill shots, you know, do well, even if your team is absolutely horrible and you end up losing, it's still good practice. So practice with those, with those champions, like I said, at least three games with each. Now, more practice, obviously, the more practice you have, the better you're going to be, but at least three games for each champion is a definite, you have to do that. The final and third step is to go ahead and play a ranked game. Now, ranked games can be very stressful, especially just in the pick and ban section. You can get people that refuse to give you the role you want. That's why, like I said earlier in step one, you want to choose your champions very 
um, vastly. If you can choose champions that can play more than one role, such as uh, Xin Zhao, for example, he can play top and jungle. Uh, you can play Udair top and jungle. You can play a lot of champions in uh, different uh, lanes. And so if you could pick champions that are diverse like that, that'll help you out a lot. But don't constrain your champion pool too much. Like I said, pick champions that you're really good at. And if you have three to five, odds are you should be able to get a role that you want in the picking and banning section. And if you don't, and you end up having to play a champion that you're not very good at, and at a role that you're not very good at, just let your team know. Just flat out tell them, guys, I've only practiced this role, and I've only really practiced these champions. Yes, I know how to play, you know, AD carry. Yes, I know how to play support. Yes, I know how to play jungle, but I'm not proficient at it as proficient as I am in these other roles. And most teams you'll find are actually okay with that. And they say, you know what, you know, okay, you can take, you know, mid lane because that's what you're really good at. And um, I'll go jungle or whatever. So once you're in the game and you're, you're playing it and you're with your team, I could give you a million one pointers on how to play that specific champion, but you should know after practicing and playing them, I mean, you picked them, you said, these are the champions I'm good at. This is how I know how to play them already. So I'm not going to tell you how to play your specific champion, but I will tell you this, the most important thing, especially at this low elo at bronze and silver is people don't know how to farm right. Okay, if you learn how to farm right and you can last hit every single minion that comes in your lane and you are up on them, you know, a hundred creep score by, you know, 15 minutes, then, then, I mean, that's a little insane, but if, if you could do that, then you are, you are going to win. I mean, like it would, it would take a lot for their team. I mean, you, you, your entire team would have to suck really bad for you to lose at that point. So you get that high of creep score and you have that much gold and you get those big items and you're you know have a three level advantage on their whole team you can carry easily but the second most important thing next to farm is not dying and this is this is where people mess up they get ahead they get farmed they get a level advantage on their whole team and then they say you know what I'm so strong, I'm gonna go in 3v1, I'm gonna go in 4v1, I can take them, I got this. There's no point in doing that, okay? So, don't die. Don't take unnecessary risks when you already have such a large, you know, lead. Don't give away your lead by, you know, dying to someone that's, you know, three levels under you. Now, guess what? They're caught up, they can now carry for their team, and you just lost the game all in that single, you know, defining moment of greed, so with all that being said, I hope this guide kind of helped you out and that you can see where you need to go, pick your champions, practice your champions, get in ranked, farm, and don't die. And you should be able to get out of bronze and silver fairly easily, get to gold. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos in the future about uh, specific champion-oriented gameplay stuff so tutorials on how to play certain champions i'm gonna pick champions that i'm good at and explain how to play them in a very effective way in order to win games and i'll also probably be streaming on twitch and i'll put that link in the description box if you ever feel like stopping by and watching me stream no thanks for watching this video bye